kukuria ni bivazo ni bivazo na hani tu tu fata isuka tu gasha mama ni wewe muga wa ni ni wewe muda ni tayi kumatega tu vita ni Nous Well, today is their big day. They are getting married. What would a wedding look like if both families were totally against it? You really love this person and you both want to get married. Yes, it takes a lot of courage to go for it. You see, their families don't want this wedding to happen because these two are sick. Their parents do not see their future together as husband and wife. But besides all this, they decided to get married no matter the consequences. This is their story. It is not our first time visiting Jack. We visited him when he just got sick. In the beginning, he was born as a normal and fine boy, and later, he started growing up. This is when he noticed that he was a talented footballer, and he started playing football while working in a nearby store as well. He was one day walking back home after a long day of work. He then decided to pass by a saloon for a haircut, and when he sat down, he woke up a month later in the hospital. He was in coma and the right side of his body had all been paralyzed. He couldn't believe that this was happening to him. The moment he woke up, the doctor started talking to him, but unfortunately, he could hardly say anything because it was obvious that his tongue was also damaged and it had a problem. <laughs> The doctors told him that due to overworking himself, he was not having enough rest and this had really affected his brain and health since he was now suffering from a stroke. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to the part of your brain is interrupted or reduced, preventing the brain tissue from getting enough oxygen and nutrients. Brain cells begin to die in minutes. It is a medical emergency and prompt treatment is crucial. A month later, it was obvious that he was now jobless. He was carried back home and some of his friends that they played together in the same team used to visit him and by the time we got to know about Jack, it had been a year since he got sick. He was at home all the time and he used to use the phone a lot with his left hand. He was always on social media for most time of the day. He used Facebook and this is where he met Kenya. They started chatting and they later became friends. She says that she thought that he was a normal person since the pictures he posted always proved that he was okay. Literally, these were the pictures of him before he got sick. Their relationship kept on becoming stronger and stronger as time went by. They later planned about meeting in person and Jack was so scared that this girl was now going to find out the truth about him. He told her that he was sick, but according to what Kenya says, she never thought that it was this serious. She was on her way to come and meet the man of her dreams. She was ready to love and live with him forever, but when she landed her eyes on him, she could not believe that this man couldn't even move on his own. She was completely shocked and did not know what to do. Tears started rolling down from her eyes and she got so mad at him. She at least asked him to tell her the truth if he was born like this because now she could not believe even the pictures that she used to see on social media and she now wanted hard copies and he gave them to her.
she accepted to live with him for quite a while. She had to feed him, shower him, wash his clothes, and do all other things of that sort. Literally, there was nothing that this man could ever do for himself. Just after one week, she was tired and she had to leave. She told him that this was never going to work out and she left. When she got home, she never had peace at heart. Jack kept on calling her phone and she never stopped thinking about him, so she decided to tell her parents about it. The moment they heard that she was in love with a disabled man, they were totally not happy about it. She decided to ask her family for transport money so that she could go and live with Jack. They totally refused to help her and she had to find a way on her own. She sold all her clothes one after another so that she could get the money to go back and find Jack. Mm. She was soon on a bus to his town, but she was crying all the way and regretting why she had come back. She came to Jack's house and decided to live with him forever. She thought that her worries were done, but she did not know what was coming. She thought that her worries were done, but she did not know what was coming. She later started feeling a lot of pain in her belly. She went to a local medical clinic and they gave her some medicine, but nothing changed. She was transferred to a bigger hospital and this is when she was told the bad news that ruined her life. The ovary on the right was rotting and the fallopian tube on the left was also blocked. This means that she needed immediate surgery. The only money they had was supposed to treat one of them. Her husband needed daily treatment and his wife needed immediate surgery. Each one of them wanted the other to go first. Kenya pretended like she was fine so that Jack could have treatment and so did Jack. The doctors advised the couple and said that Kenya should go first because she needed surgery before her condition got worse. She would die soon if she was not treated and this is what happened. She was taken in for surgery and they removed the ovary that had a problem. <laughs> When Jack's family heard that Kenya wasn't able to give birth, they chased her away from this home, but she refused to go and leave Jack after all that they had been through. Jack too chose his wife over his family since she was always there for him when his family refused to. They did not have anything to eat because they couldn't work. She then decided to go and start working so that they could get money and buy food and the only job that she can do right now is helping out at the building site where she earns less than a dollar on a daily basis and this is what they used to buy sugar, mix it with water, drink it because they can't afford food. Well, today they're having a civil wedding with the help of their friends and well-wishers. It is obvious that this is the happiest day of their lives and it was long waited for by both of them and here they go. We asked them if their family had attended this wedding but with the look on their faces, they did not expect them to. She says that there is a member of her family that is here to witness her wedding. But all that matters right now is the love that they have for each other and nothing more. 
this lady is a doctor and she has been taking care of Jack and doing all she can to treat him right from the start when he was being operated from the head until today. She is still doing all she can to support him and she says that if he gets the treatment required, she hopes to see him being a normal person again. When their story was told, a Giving Life campaign was created to support this family. It is still running and it is put in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. We hope to visit them soon and hand these funds to them. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but it takes as much to stand up to your friends and family. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is a Max English. Do not forget to subscribe.